minutes or two about what you learned today. And that way, you can collect all 20, 30 papers or something like that. And that's what I'm here to talk to you guys about, just that one thing. Headed to the beach for so many. <laughs> Coconuts fresh from the tree. I like it. We're eating fresh coconuts from the tree. Thanks to you. <laughs> asking us to try to be really respectful and, and try to end, you know, right at that, at that 9 10 mark. But uh, obviously, with the teachers being racist, you know, you can, you can accept that grace, okay? But.
to the Bahamas. For me personally, I thought everybody was super receptive. Like, I think we might have our reward already. I don't know if we're going to get a reward in heaven at this point because <laughs> how much fun we had. Anything else you want to add? Nope. If you haven't went on a soul winning marathon, it's definitely worth it. I think everybody should at least go on one soul winning marathon per year to get into the 30, 60 fold, and 100 fold uh, fruitful Christian. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And who are you? I'm Jornel A1 Lugo. Awesome. It's the gospel over and over and over again. Also going door to door and uh, just reaching people uh, with, uh, you know, the truth about what it takes to go to heaven. And then obviously, when you go on a mission trip with Steadfast Baptist Church, you're also going to have some fun. And Amen. that's what we're doing tonight. We're at the beach, or today I should say. We're at the beach. We've had dinner together. We've had excellent fellowship. This has been uh, life-changing and, in, in a word, awesome. So if you haven't gone on a mission trip with us, you're missing out. you got to do it. Awesome. Thank you, President. This, in this day and age, you know, we, we got to get together as Christians and do and, and just win souls and, and labor and also have fun. Well, what makes it My favorite thing was that the Bahamas is not like any other country I've, I visited. All the people here, they have a love for God and they respect God. Even though their salvation is off, um, they're still willing to listen to you. Especially the kids. They just come to you without you even going to bed which you don't see in America. No, no you don't. Why do I do it? Because if not you, then who, right? Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Holy Ghost. Very like the That's the whole purpose of going to another country and preaching the gospel. Obviously, this is nice, but you know, even if you don't get the nice things, you should go for other souls, for other people. But aren't there plenty of souls in Pennsylvania? Yes, they need the gospel too, but many people here are more in darkness than in America. True. I mean, because nobody's coming, I mean, nobody's coming here, right? To preach the truth, you know? Yeah. My brother Perez is coming for baptism today. For the present, he trusts in Christ as your Savior. And I baptize in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Ghost. Very in length of his death, he needs to walk the <laughs> Very few people are willing to reap that harvest. Very few people want to go out and actually labor and get someone saved. Now, because you know it's their only opportunity to be saved. Right. That's right. It is their only option. These churches are lying to so many people. These churches are deceiving so many people because they're filled with false prophets. And a false prophet can devote his life to damning souls to hell. How can we not dedicate our lives to winning people to Christ? You know what? You'll have nobody if you don't even try. Let us be those who have great faith. Hi, my name is Aaliyah and I go to Steadfast Baptist Church. That's and awesome. And how old are you? I'm nine years old. Wow. And how many salvations did you get? Uh, well, in total of the days I've been sowing is 34 salvations. That you've gotten? Yes. Okay, my name is uh, Antonio Garcia. I'm here with my wife Eva. We're first time here in Bahamas. We loved it. So winning was great. The children at these schools were very attentive and respectful to elders. What I've seen about Bahamas is everybody will talk to you. Maybe they don't have time, but everybody here really respects the Bible. They know the Bible. If you say to them, John 3.16, they'll recite it. 